Welcome to the Modern Day Warrior. We have a special guest today, uh, Desmond Kang, yeah. General Manager of Tami System Tenic and Asban Technology Private Limited. A very young gentleman who is at a very senior role. Welcome. Thank you. Your company does water purification, helping people drink pure water in a safe manner. Um, yes. It's actually quite interesting to become a general manager at such a young age. Can I ask, um, you know, in 30 seconds to share who you are, who you help, and how you do that? So I'm Desmond Kang. I help people get clean drinking water uh, from in the various countries around us, um, both in Singapore as well as overseas. I provide them with good quality products that can remove away virus and bacteria, uh, both from my different, two different companies, catering to two different markets. Uh, so that's basically how uh, I provide clean mm. water. I, and I feel that clean drinking water is uh, essential need that everybody needs to have. You're a general manager of two different businesses at, you know, how old are you right now, can I ask? 28 this year. Okay. So you're a general manager at 28 with two different businesses at the moment. You know, it must be tough. What kind of challenges do you face? Well, challenges is that this is a fairly mature market. It's a very, fair, it's a very much mature industry. So you would have to, you have to meet with um, a lot of older people. Um, both for my like, older older partners, uh, so that's where my age comes a bit of a uh, age and appearance. <laughs> both comes as a bit of a uh, negative, immediate uh, viewpoint, as well as of course because being a general manager, I need to uh, hire people and all that kind of thing. So, so being my age, also I have to work with older colleagues, um, hire older, uh, and interview older employees. So. Um, how does that actually impact your performance, having to deal with uh, business colleagues, uh, clients, vendors, even your, your team being potentially older than you? It drives me to, to know more about the business because uh, once you have the knowledge, uh, it doesn't really matter um, what your age is. You, know, you, can be, you can be a young guy, but as long as you know what you're doing, you know um, how to present yourself and bring the message across. Um, this, all these kind of other matters are become less important and people view it with a different side. Okay. Would you say it was actually your technical knowledge or kind of your ability to communicate that really helped you uh, manage that relationship with the, the older individuals? I would say it's a mixture of both. Um, I've met people who appreciate people who know what they are doing, who know what they are talking about um, and also being of a younger age, I, I believe uh, I bring to the table something that's a bit more creative, where uh, people have the traditional mindset to think of only doing it in a certain way. I can come up with uh, new suggestions, new ideas to, to give across a, a better product. Okay. Is it possible you can elaborate on a, an example for us to understand? Um, most times in, in, in discussions, then people will be talking about all the traditional methods of doing it. So I'll be coming up with, with a new way saying that, you know, actually, why not we take this product and we can mix it around with this and, and to come up with a, 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 more, a more simpler product, which works a lot better. What kind of skill sets do you get to, to utilize to, to demonstrate that authority, mm -hmm. both in terms of the technical as well as communication? Having a learning, having a hungry mind to learn for more knowledge, uh, as well as having just the interpersonal skills to balance out uh, being humble and, and staying and being respectful of uh, the ideas and, and, and just and giving clear directions on where you want to go and, and what you expect from them. Just curious, do you have an example of uh, a situation where perhaps when you first shared an idea it was not well received and you were able to turn that around? I, I guess I would say when, when I was trying to pitch, pitch ideas to my boss regarding HR policies. When I initially wanted to do it, because he's very hesitant on um, giving too much uh, employee benefits. <laughs> so, so but, but now in this day and age, you know, there, there has to be uh, some benefits. If not, your employees wouldn't want to stay with you. <laughs> so, so it's just um, learning how to handle the, what his expectation is in order to give, them, give him uh, a breakdown on, on what what he's giving away and versus what he's gaining. Yeah, so it's, it's both understanding uh, um, the company's uh, point of view and also understanding the, the employee's 
concerns. Uh, can I ask then, you know, being at 28, mm. you probably have a lot of peers around your age yeah. who are looking for promotions, that management position, and a, and a chance to be a superstar, mm. but some of them are kind of struggling or are unable to do so. Do you have any uh, tips or skill sets you think they should work on to make sure they can get noticed? Take the initiative the, uh, to step forth. Yeah, just don't, don't, don't be scared of, of trying new things because you never know what, what uh, new things can bring to, to, the, to the table and, and, and opportunities will arise when, when you are less, less fearful. So kind of self-management, self would you say? Self-management of your personal well-being uh, to, to step forth and, and take opportunities. Uh, take the initiative because I feel that, that um, both in my company and, and elsewhere is that management people are... Uh, Management, they are not shy of taking up new uh, potentials. They are always looking out for, for new uh, people to train, new people to teach. So as long as you keep yourself uh, trainable, uh, teachable, um, I think you'll be able to find yourself growing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, companies, they say, they're always looking to promote internally, mm. but sometimes they, they have a trouble seeing that in their staff, so they hire externally. Yes. But if you're saying that if someone really demonstrates those skill mm. sets inside that desire, that initiative, uh, and ability to learn, mm. you'd think that most management would be very happy to promote. It's far easier to train someone who has already been in the company and already understands the company to, to grow versus taking someone who is new, then you need to teach them all over again. Uh, and, and so it's a lot easier to do it internally. Can you share with us three actual items people can take away, our modern day viewers, the way they can develop it today, here and now, how to self-manage uh, around the areas of fear? I would say is um, just step forth, uh, take the initiative and, and just go for it. Uh, if you've been given an opportunity to try out something new, uh, take it and see where it leads you because I think once you do, you will find that many doors open uh, and, and many new things will come your way. Go for networking events because you never know who you meet. You never know uh, where the next talk would uh, get you to somewhere. So, any last words you want to share with our, our audience? You know, any last tips that you could uh, part with people? Stay positive. Stay cheerful in the in the workplace, even though uh, situations may be bad. But I think if you are uh, you have, uh, go to work with a positive attitude, the boss will be able to to view uh, that you know. There is someone there is there that he can groom. Thank you very much, Desmond. Thank you.